Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Tiny Rogues. I've got a fresh new run on the docket today for you folks. And this is going to be a run featuring the Paladin. Now the Paladin has the Crusader trait, which is going to give him radiant damage per maximum armor point that he has. He's going to start with some armor because we start with the Paladin set, which is a good set to start with. Crusader Mace, obviously a strength character with plus one alignment. Now, we're doing something interesting here today. And what I want to do is kind of open up a little bit of fantasy role playing with you. So what that means is, so the Paladin is a Warrior of Light, right? The Warrior of Light should wield the Hero Sword, the Sword of the True Hero, right? So we're going to use the Broken Hero Sword. And instead of <laughs> going to Heaven, which our alignment would suggest we should, no, no, folks, we are going to quell and quench the world of evil. We are going down to the Hells, and we are going to defeat Amon. So this is kind of a run where it, you know, it just, it would make sense for the Paladin to challenge the forces of darkness. And we're going to do that here today in this run. So Cinder 16 is engaged, so wish me luck. And the campfire setup looks like this, so there are a few differences here. No revive, I do have double trouble on. And with the broken hero sword, I want loyalty activated. Which will allow the blacksmith to upgrade our... Weapons to level 4, just the normal blacksmith. So with that said, folks, we're going to hop right on in. And while we're hopping in, if you're enjoying the content on the channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. Join this awesome community. I'm a new channel here. Just started in late November of 2023. Your support has been awesome. And uh, if you're digging the content, you know, and you like something like daily uploads and all of that good stuff, thoughtful commentary, daily uploads, all that kind of stuff, uh, consider joining. Not necessarily, uh, you know, dropping an episode of Tiny Rogues every single day. That's not what I'm saying, but I do upload daily. And uh, we'd love to have you in our great and growing community. So just, just think about it, right? Centurion goes down. I don't know how I didn't take a hit there, but we'll take it. Meaty boys are going to pop like balloons. And we have a secret hatch here, and I just get a key. We might as well. Let's take a gander. All right, so this is an opportunity, but we don't really have... I mean, I could sell my Crusader Mace for a minus one. I think that's what I have to do. So this will get my alignment down to neutral. Because that is considered an evil interaction there, which is great. And what do we have? We have a bone charm, so no souls to speak of. What can we get with our six gold? We can get two keys. That might be the choice that we make. Yeah, let's do it. Steal of a deal. I mean, yeah, it really was a pretty good deal. All right, so we have a mimic here. Which, on double trouble, can be very challenging, but I think we have to take... I mean, you have to take it. So let's hope it doesn't pose too much of a challenge. I guess we'll find out. Just, just got to stay nimble here. I, I came into this knowing that I was going to probably take some hits, given the silly thing that I did and sold my, you know, only respectable weapon, but, you know, sometimes you just got to adapt. And we are, you know, the broken hero here. We're fantasy role-playing in this one, and what do we get? Well, a couple of instruments and more keys. Shocking triangle. It is shocking. So we do lose a lot of survivability in going with it, but it is by far the superior weapon. So we're going to just rock this for a while. More keys. I don't think I've ever had five keys in the first, like, three rooms. Let's go with bombs, though. It's definitely the missing element here. All right. Guaranteed uncommon item. I think we can actually probably take down this boss pretty easily with the triangle. Uh, guaranteed accessory or uncommon item. Let's go with the uncommon item. And we do have the Minotaur here. Lava Enchanted and Proximity Shield. But I don't think he's going to like our triangle too much. Our playing is so bad, it kills you. You know? Got to play some three blind mice here on the triangle. Of course. Very, very strong weapon though. I mean, I must admit. 
at least for for floor one it's really strong now if we look at the the damage it's doing right obviously I do want to switch it out out in uh, excuse me I want to switch it out in favor of a one-handed weapon but for the time being it's hard to beat when it does triple damage of the broken hero sword all right what do we have for our first reward here we have a shark tooth ne necklace excuse me 30 percent increased damage dealt to armor we have the green hoodie dark moon pendant I guess we'll take this it's not great but we'll take it It'll help us against some of those tanky enemies. Floor 2 here, what do we have? We have... Well, I guess we don't have... I'll, I'll tell you what we don't have. We don't have the Forgotten Mine, unfortunately. That's a really sad day here. But we are the Hero of Lights. And uh, it's probably not appropriate for us to be dancing. At this particular point in time. We have evil to... Quell from the world. So let's go... With the burger here, definitely need to st start stacking strength. We have an armory. Maybe we can get something decent here. What do we have? We have the quick baseball bat. Now, this is one-handed. 100% crushing hit chance with lucky hits. Okay. Druid Bible. Arcane Torrent Tome. We're going to go with the baseball bat here. And that'll get our shield back on. Can rock the triangle as our secondary. All right, so we have bombs here or a shop. Let's go with the bombs. Swing away, Meryl. Let's go. Let me know in the comments if you uh, know what that's from. Pawn shop or gold chest. Let's go with the pawn shop here. We can sell this guitar. And let's go with the event room here. All right, we have uh, James and Lee. From what I understand, and this is from a subscriber and commenter on the channel, James and Lee, uh, they have their own YouTube channel, I believe, and they used to play the game Tiny Rogues. So therefore, the developer of Tiny Rogues put them in the game. Pretty cool, pretty cool cameo here. You know, to the developer of Tiny Rogues, you just let me know. We can come up with a nice, cool sprite for uh, my channel here. And uh, <laughs> no, I'm just joking, of course. Kind of hard to beat the range and the DPS of the, the triangle here. So we're just going to go with it. I think it just makes sense to, to do so for now. Baseball bat's a good basic weapon to use while we have the armor. Lich goes down round one, that is. All right, robot does fall finally. And Cinder, Cinder level 16, folks, it, it definitely makes these boss fights a little more challenging. Even the, the earlier game ones where it's like, oh, you got it, you know. This guy will just melt. All I have to do is close my eyes and hold down the left mouse button. Well, not necessarily. That definitely wasn't bad, but... Could have certainly been worse. All right, what do we have? We have the Mana Cloak, plus two mana. Gladiator Shield, plus two block. We can't take off our Paladin set, that's for sure. We have the Flux Robe. We have the Flux Hat. Really not great stuff all around. I'll take the Mana Cloak. Who knows, maybe we stumble into a magic-based weapon. Evil Shop, absolutely. We need to turn to the dark side. This is the Worm Companion. That's actually a pretty good one. Mind Charm for some Mana Regen. Drake Charm. I will go with the Fallen Star here. That's just more mana for us. And then we can actually just resolve our... Well, no. Not quite. I'll take the Mind Charm. Sure. So now we are minus two... We have fallen to the dark side here, folks. Absolutely. Alright, let the triangle do the talking. 
All right, let's go with uh, the backup armory here. What do we have? We have the cactus flail. This is one-handed. Cactus prickles. Okay, and then we have the happy firebomb codex. Which is going to do fire damage. It is one-handed as well. It kind of feels like that is the right choice for us, doesn't it? Absolutely. Maybe we go intelligence build with the paladin? I mean, I don't know. Tiny Rogues always uh, just kind of keeps you guessing, doesn't it? You think you have a, a set build in mind? Like, you know, paladin, I was thinking, without question, we are going physical. We're going to be a brute force type guy. Maybe not in this one. But eventually, we're going to get the... The Broken Hero Sword, for sure. So I think Brawler or Titan Grip. I mean, I think Titan Grip is a pretty good one, given we will always be wearing that shield, right? We just will. Otherwise, Brawler is a good one, too. It really is. Let's go with Titan Grip. I think it makes sense. Not for our current kit, but... The way I kind of see this going, you know, you don't want to get, you don't want to stuck, be stuck with a two-handed weapon. That uh, causes you to lose your shield, right? And if we end up with a one-handed weapon, we can always obsidian dice that thing away. Power short, power shard. Excuse me. Uh, let's go locked chest or intelligence. Uh, let's go with the intelligence. I don't really foresee myself getting much better than what we currently have for a magic weapon. In fact, I'll probably get another musical instrument. Alright, melee weapon or tavern, but we don't have really anything to spend at the tavern. Let's go with the melee weapon for sure. Maybe we can get something to throw on our paladin here. All right, what do we have? Hey, we have the crappy Flamberge. Not good stuff. Just not good. Cursed Soul or a gold chest? Let's go with the gold chest. All right, what do we have here? We have the armor of Agathis plus one armor. And it gives you an orbital ball. It's a little too heavy right now, but I like it. I like the plus one armor. Works with our radiant damage. And then we get a choice of gloves here. Which we will obviously take. Alright, so we're in on fire weapons. I don't think Tangle Ma Ja is going to like our fire weapons too much here. So let's just let's just bombard him. Pressure goes off there. Sometimes you gotta you gotta aim and dodge at the same time. Kind of tricks your brain a little bit. At least it does for me. Just out of range. All right, there we go. Again, the the whole aim and dodge thing. Well, we got it done. We're looking good. We're collecting souls, and we have a reward before us. What do we have? Let's get something good, game. What do you say? Looks pretty uninspiring, doesn't it? What do we have? We have bone gloves. Companion attack speed, okay. Horseshoe pendant. Retina refractor. Sheriff boots. Plus 15% lucky hit chance. All right. Uh, I guess we can go with the bone gloves. I mean, it's it's not great. A little too heavy to wear anyways right now, but... Maybe get some utility out of it for just a moment. All right. I'm getting all nice and repaired up. We have petrified mana or a strength upgrade. We have to take the man. I'm 
not often that you get permanent, you know, increases to your, your primary stats. Like mana, stamina, or a heart. So we're going to take that mostly every time. Alright, what do we have? We have the Poison Sapphire Wand. One-handed Burning Agony Staff. This is a magic weapon. It's not going to work with Titan Grip. Then we have the Happy Drain Scepter. This attacks very fast. Scales B with strength. Invigorate is buff that grants 25% increased movement speed. Fix Drain and grants Invigorate. Okay. Well, I think we could probably go with that. I'm going to throw down this Flamberge. It's just no good. Okay. Not quite what I was expecting, but I think we can take it. So, Warrior Sash or... I'm going to prioritize the, the candy here. Get melted, Centurion. And getting melted is what he does best. Plus one intelligence, minus one dex. Or a shrine that grants a random blessing. Do we go down to zero dex? Yeah, well, let's do it. We're not in on dex at all. I gotta say, I don't completely dislike this weapon. Wish it had maybe just a bit more range, but it's not too bad. Let's go with the event room. We get the black market again here, folks. This time we have just a bit more cash. But we can, of course, sell a bunch of stuff, including this. Just shocking triangle, right? That really did us well for a while. It was our fallback option, right? Uh, what else do we have? Bone gloves. Are we going to use it? Like, seriously use it? I mean, probably not. Let's sell it. I'm, I'm okay selling that. I think I'm going to keep both of my weapons, but what do they have? Illegal Falchion. Legal Storm Hammer. This is a Mace Melee. 24 gold, which we have. Does lightning damage. 15% critical hit chance. On taking damage. Okay, so that's on taking damage. Otherwise, it's not really all that impressive. And then Blizzard Scroll. Mage Treads, plus one max mana. Golden Dice. Yeah, we'll buy that for sure. Zombie Arm. Imp Charm. Hex Charm. Orb charm. We have a flask refill. Protein for nine souls, though. A little too rich for my blood. I do like the illegal storm hammer, but... I mean, that damage just isn't all that impressive. It doesn't attack very fast. I think you could argue the weapons we have are better. Could go with the mage treads, though. Why not? Let's pull them off for now, but we can definitely go with those. A blacksmith to upgrade weapons and repair armor. Uh, we don't really need to. Meaty boys, what's happening, meaty boys? Gotta remember that I have this broken hero sword too, and that was kind of one of the things I was trying to do in this run. Try to get that upgraded. We need to get that mithril. I saw it once, but I had to take. Forget what I selected over it. A treasure rock or a shop. Let's go with the treasure rock. Nope, stepped right into that one for sure. All right, we have the burning grenade launcher. This is a ranged weapon. I mean, it's nice, but it's two-handed. It's purely two-handed, right? Yeah, it is. 
So it's not working for us in this one. Bombs or a pair. Let's go with the pair. At least get a little bit of dex back. Our next level up is what? Blessed Hammer, a non-triggered lucky hit trigger Blessed Hammer. We have Hex Touch. We have Spell Echo. Does Radiant Damage. Let's do it. It kind of fits our whole lore, I guess, a bit. Uh, let's go with the gloves. All right, we have the Rat King. Vermin King. All right, robot number one's down. And I got uh, got poked by one of those little arcane things. All right, Vermin King, let's go round two. Get pulse down, that's right. I gotta give it to my what is it? What's it called? The happy drain scepter. MVP so far for sure. Alright, what do we have? There is an epic. Uh C Prism Gloves. Chemtech Lantern. Then we have the Abyss Cloak. Adds plus three curse and, and a corruption aura. No thanks. Well, I mean, I could take it to sell, otherwise you go with this, and it's another just underwhelming pair of gloves to throw on. I guess it does do more damage to enchanted enemies, so we could rock that for a while until something better comes along. Why don't we do that? Alright, 4-5, we have the castle. Petrified armor. Absolutely, we're all over this. Uh, let's see if we can get them bunched up here. These guys heal, heal one another. It's kind of annoying. Let's go. Drop, dropping some bombs here. And let's definitely secure that armor that helps us do more radiant damage. Giant treasure chest. You love to see this one, folks. Absolutely. We're all over that. It's not often that you get a giant treasure chest, but... In my experience, unless there's something real tempting on the other side... In the other room, that is, just take the giant treasure chest and be happy. Because good things abound when you open one of these bad boys up. So let's go. Okay, so we got a whole bunch of bombs. <laughs> like, a lot of bombs. We get the crystal pine resin. Okay. So let's take that. We can use that outright. We have the harpy quiver. Marksman Cape. We have the Tortoise-like The Separator. Man, that is very underwhelming stuff. Just incredibly underwhelming. Alright. Uh, Mage Treads. Let's think about it. I mean, it'd be great to just be able to throw them on, right? Really underwhelming stuff here with this. Let's see. I'll just be over encumbered for for a bit here. I know it's not good. It's just a slight bit of encumbrance. I think we'll be okay. We just need one more strength. 
So let's get another strength. Stop giving me intelligence game. Let's get another strength here. And we do have our mithril, but of course we have no room to store it. So let's see, what are we going to do? I mean, armor of Agathis, is this truly something that we want? Let's throw it down. Is this a mistake? Yeah, it's a mistake. I'm going to throw the burning grenade launcher down. What am I doing? Alright, pawn shop or a dragon slayer stash. Let's go in the pawn shop here. Stack a little bit of gold. sell the gloves this is our ticket right here the fish and chips so let's get it Alright, let's go, Centurion. Just you and me. Alright, we are not encumbered anymore, which is great. Feels great. Alright, let's go with the souls here. Alright, looking good. A bombs or a flask refill? Let's go with the bombs. Even though we absolutely do not need them at all. Magic weapon or guaranteed gloves. Do we roll the dice at another pair of gloves here? Yep. We do it. We have the Pied Piper. The Pied Piper is having a little party, I guess. Alright, robots down. Now time to focus on this clown. Alright, take that Pied Piper, let's go. Pied Piper, let's go. Stop running away. And down goes the Pied Piper. He does cost us a bit of armor, but that is why you have the Paladin set here, folks. Alright, what do we have? We have the Spellbinder Gloves. Okay, we have the Rondash, and then we have the Straw Talisman. I guess we'll take... Very uninspiring set of gloves. Although, kind of works with our kit just a little bit, I'm not going to lie. Evil Shop. Let's pop in here and see what we have. Tiger Charm. We have the Protein. Yep. Definitely need that. We'll use that. Let's also use the Zinc as well. Good on the Tiger Charm. 
All right, we need to find one more piece of beef. Then we can get those gloves on. So let's go. Warrior sash or candy. Let's go, little octopus guys. Let's go. Is that more of a squid? Yeah, it's probably more of a squid, huh? Let's go with the pair for dex. Of course, they're giving me everything except strength. All right, get the pair for dex. Rare weapons, yes. All right, what do we have? We have the gladius. Okay. Disintegration Scepter. And then we have the Burning Colossus Machete. Scales X. X. Scales S with strength. Each point of strength grants plus 1% crushing hit chance with this weapon. Medium range. It is burning. Uh, yeah, absolutely. We're all in on this for now. It looks nice. Oh yeah, give me that. And here is our beef as well. So let's go. Try out this new uh, toy we have here, huh? I mean, we will uh, we will certainly take this. There are worse weapons out there. It kind of works with our kit, being that it's a two-handed weapon. And now we can throw on the spellbinder gloves. We have a shop behind a heart door. We've got plenty of gold though. So why don't we go ahead and do this. Just pop in here, see what's going on. Whew, yeah, we have the meat shank. We have the burger, broccoli. Yeah, we might be spending some cash here, folks. We have mage blood, we have unforgiving and forethought. So we are kind of off magic weapons now. Mage blood is not bad. 100% increased ailment duration and makes ailments inflicted by non-crits have 100% increase effect. So ailments like... I mean, we were doing a lot more ailments just a moment ago with our staff, right? I'm going to go with Mage Blood. I'm a big fan of that one. Let's just transform our character here. What do you say? And then a Meat Shank to just top it all up. So what did we gain? Like... So we got a meat shank earlier, which is actually plus four because we have the protein, right? We got, what else did we get? We got a burger. I mean, I don't know, whatever. We got like plus 12 uh, in our primary stats there. Pretty crazy sequence of events there, if I don't say so myself. Alright, that one got me. You got me good there, little squid man. And again, as well. That was a pretty uh, pretty crazy room, I must admit. Alright, blacksmith. Let's get this all fixed up. In fact, what we can do... So we gotta start getting this upgraded. All right. We're almost there. A Dragon Slayer stash or candy for intelligence. Let's go with the stash. And then if I get one that gives me random uh, consumables, certainly be going that route. Obviously, uh, 
alchemy stash and potions as well what do we have here trash flame spear pretty inspiring stuff i was a little more excited when i first saw that i'm not gonna lie but obviously that excitement was quickly quelled gotta remember i have a gold dice here but we have a guaranteed rare item let's go with this and we have yet another octopus guy except for this one has a shield on the kraken All right, you got me. See if I can get down this uh, this little robot here first. All right, the robot falls. All right, Kraken form one is down. I like this because it's applying debuffs, right? No way. Alright, get lost, Kraken. Back to the depths you go. Looks like your head's missing there. Alright, so the good thing about the Paladin set, folks, is the armor just restores itself, right? So that's looking good. What do we have here? We have the Dragon Scale Gauntlets, plus 20% increased melee damage. That is obviously a no-brainer. Surgical Mask. Then we have the Knight's Armor, plus 1 armor, 10% increased damage per max armor you have. Would also go well... Hmm. I mean, I think you have to take the 20% melee damage increase, right? You just have to. But this will do plus 40% damage. So it's almost, you could argue it's better. Except for that it's body armor. I think I have to go with the knight armor here, folks. I just feel like I have to do it. I mean, it's plus 40% increased damage. And that's all kinds of damage. Doesn't matter what you use, right? Not just melee. So yeah, that's what we're going to do. On to the next floor we go. Floor 7 here, the Icy Cavern. And we are fully repaired up on the armor. Looking good, and more importantly, feeling good. Alright, do we want... No, we're good. Meaty boy, sure thing. Welcome to the party. Always coming in at the, the best time. Starting to get a little grindy here. I'm just not doing enough damage, it feels like. We still gotta be uh, nice and cautious. Gotta get some gold, I gotta get into a blacksmith or prioritize consumables. Some of those potions and their uh, buffs will be good for us too. So let's go with the gold here. All right, just keep dodging. Be the 8-bit version of uh, Barry Sanders. Actually, this game's not 8-bit. Whatever bit this game is, be that version of Barry Sanders. Let's go. 
Lollipop. Uh, yes. Uh, Centurions on the field. Of course, but of course. Snowman's down. Centurion, you are down as well. It was good to see ya. And we'll see you again in about, what, 10 rooms? Level up. Shield Bash, Mana Beacon, Ignition Burst. Shield Bash is definitely the choice here. We have a Pawn Shop. I mean, we can sell these two pieces of armor. Pawn Shop is gold, right? So, let's go ahead and do it. Sell this. Do we sell the Happy Drain Scepter? No, I don't think so. Let's go with the potion. Even over the beef, I'm hoping for a luck potion. Uh, we get the power potion. That is not a bad potion to get. Plus 20 power. So that's just straight attack damage. What do we have? We have the Twilight Branch. Colossus Machete. I mean, we could use it on that, but... Random Consumable. We can get a Blacksmith Whetstone here, potentially. We can also get other useful things. Do get a Purging Stone. Take that. And Repair Powder. Also useful. Let's go with the beef. Passed up a lot of beef here, for sure. But we're, we're kind of starting to do a little bit of damage here, which is nice to see. There's nothing like feeling like you're attacking and... Petrified Heart, we will be taking this. So we got a heart, we got a petrified mana crystal, and we got a petrified uh, armor. So this run has been very generous. And giving us some of the more uncommon things. You know, the... The finer things in life, if you will. Guarantee gloves or a cursed set item. I mean, obviously, we're going with the gloves. All right. Let's go. Guarantee gloves. We do have the frost dragon or ice dragon here. Critical resistant. Totem enchanted as well. Yep, yeah, that's what happens when you run out of stamina, for sure. It's getting a little beat up here. Dragon's pretty quick. Alright, form one goes down. I think I'm going to try to target that little totem to the south of him first. And then we'll get back on the old dragon. Let's go. All right. Good deal. I don't know about that game. I just don't know. I just don't know if that actually happened. If that actually hit me, I don't know. I'm having trouble accepting that one. Feel like I was on the dodge there. All right, down goes the dragon, and, you know, frankly, nothing is hurt. Yeah, we're down one reward here, but nothing is hurt. That will all be repaired right on back. All right, we have the Koala Gloves. Kind of a cool effect. We have the Sylph Gloves, plus one revive on Defy, death gain. On Defy, death, and on revive gain second wind. And we have the Ruby Ring. Unbelievably, we're still rocking this piece of junk. Uh, Sylph Gloves, survivability, you bet. Evil Shop, you bet. What do we have? Rainbow Charm. Stamina Charm, yeah, we're taking that. Rabbit Charm. Is it worth 13 souls? I don't think it is. 
The stamina charm, on the other hand, absolutely is worth whatever souls that it costs. So let's go with the random potion here. And let's take our Colossus Machete onward. Floor 8. Does this run seem to be going fast or slow to you? Seems to be going fast to me. I mean, I feel like we're kind of in the spirit of a paladin, right? Like he's bashing people with the shield. He's got a blessed hammer, right? He's got a little bit of magic influence, right? You know, paladins usually have some healing spells or, you know, a bit of uh, magic potential, right? I mean, I'm not saying we're the perfect paladin, but we did get the knight armor, right? Kind of makes sense, a little bit. Uh, yeah, B for the strength. We gotta get this sword upgraded though. This broken hero sword. I need a whetstone or a blacksmith. Going with the potion. There goes the block. Rainbow potion. How about luck? Give me the effects of luck. Let's go. Nope, it's a copy effect. That's not good. Flask refill or a horde. Let's go with the horde. Not really too worried about survivability yet. Might be a famous last sentiment though, for sure. Alright, pawn shop or a key. I have to go with the key. Would really hate to stumble across needing a key and not having one. It's just like rubbing salt in the old wounds, right? And meaty boys too. I didn't even see what hit me there. It's... It feels, feels a little silly. Did a meaty boy land on me or something? Don't know what happened. What do you do? You bash things with your shield is what you do out of just pure anger. We have a shop and we have two bombs. I'm going to go with the shop. You never know what you'll find in one of these. Okay, so we have the power belt plus 25 power. Uh, absolutely. We have the door shield. Doesn't that break? I'm thinking of the plank shield. Yeah, we can't take off our paladin shield anyways. Melee damage dealt to bosses plus 30%. That is very good. The legendary flying dragon sword. 25% increased damage. Uh, yeah. I'll take that. Absolutely. Okay, I can definitely get down with this. Uh, so what are we going to rid ourselves of? Happy Drain Scepter will probably sell. Do I need the Twilight Branch? There you go, plus 25% increased top end damage. We will absolutely be taking that. And a Blacksmith right here. This is good news because now we can upgrade our hero sword to level 3. There we go. So now we have the actual hero sword. And I believe we have to get this up to level 4 and then we have to have a special kind of ore. 528 to 1012. Pretty basic stuff. But we're, we're getting there, right? All right, we have a tavern here, but frankly, just nothing really happening. Don't have any gold at all. 
Volt Flex. There you go. Do we want the Volt Flex? I think that's the question. 10 souls for 30 gold, though. If we do that, what do we gain? Obviously, some cash, right? But I don't think I should do that. The question is, do we want the Volt Flex or do we want something else? I'm going to actually do this. There we go. Been tipped off by a few commenters on what that does, but I've never actually used it before. We use it this time, and yeah. Can't say I dislike it, for sure. I'm going to go with the Dragon Slayer stash here. Volt Flex, I believe, will be the Lightning Sword, obviously. So we're going to see if we can maybe get another option. Another option like the Unreal Staff of Unlimited Power. Uh... Grants a stack of limited power. Grants plus 10 power per stack. Oh my goodness, dude. Well, I mean, we definitely got to try this out, right? And that's where having the knight armor comes in, right? All right, guaranteed charm. Yeah, let's do it. I mean, we definitely have to try this. We have the the arch pontiff or whatever his name is. Yeah, I don't know about that arch pontiff, but you're about to get melted, bro. Yeah, get melted. Kind of like the movement speed. Well, I don't kind of like it. I really like the movement speed. All right, Emerald Ring. Poison damage. We have Odin Ring. Swiftness whenever you create Chain Lightning. And then we have the Soul Heart Charm. On level up, gain the Soul Heart. We don't have many more level ups to go. I'm going to re-roll this. This is my only dice I've found the entire game. So hopefully it does us well here. All right, we have the cross charm. We have the rhythm bracelets. 10% increased attack speed. Angelic hood. It's a set helmet plus one good. We have fallen to the dark side. So let's go with the cross charm to remind us of our past life. Let's go. All right, so as long as I switch to... Here's Bright Flex. Is this the Holy? I think it is. So as long as we switch to... Um, like, post-boss fight, as long as we switch to... Our, paladin, our Paladin's Cause, excuse me. Uh, we'll be good. Let's go with the Bright Flex. You bet. Definitely didn't see this run going in this direction here, but. Now we got to get a sword to level four here, folks. So we got a, we got a ways to go. And for that, we're going to need some cash and a serious amount of cash. So let's see if we can secure some dollar bills. All right, this is a stamina potion. We will be taking this. Fourteen fifty one, thirteen forty eight, epic armory. I mean, we we have to take this barbed wire staff. We have the gun chaku, tinker top crossbow. Gun chaku is certainly a fun weapon to use. Uh, spellbinder gloves. Yeah, we'll see you later. Grab the gun chaku. Obviously, be selling it. Let's go with the burger here. So, you can use this staff and your weapon in combination with one another. 
So the staff is going to give us... Lightning damage grants a stack of limited power. So, plus 10 power per stack. Stack lasts one second. Okay, so... I mean, you can attack with this. You can get your stacks up, right? Right here. And then you can switch to your weapon. It does more damage, right? And just thrash. So, I, I love that. We're, we're going to do that. And it looks like we might have an alchemy stash here, which is... That's an important get if I saw that right. Maybe I wasn't seeing it right. Disenchanting Unicorn Spear. We have the Druid Sickles. We have the Guitar Axe. Sorry, somebody was calling me on the, on the phone. We have the Guitar Axe. What else do we have here? Big Chomper. Guitar Axe looks cool, for sure. I mean, we are just... We have a lot of stuff. I think you could argue the Disenchanting Unicorn Spear is going to sell for the most. Happy Drain Scepter. Yeah, we need a Pawn Shop. And we need it pretty bad. A Key or a Beef. Let's go with the Beef. Centurion on the field here. And Melts does the Centurion there. All right. Dex and Intelligence. Yep, you bet. We'll take it. All right, level up. Dreamer, each point of mana additionally grants 14% more top end damage to mana draining weapons. We have Tempest Kit. Kick, excuse me. Trigger your on dash effects. On the tally of eight melee attacks. Then we have beef. Let's do it. We got plenty of mana here. I like it. I think it works. Otherwise, I also like the idea of adding another skill that, you know, on melee attack, right? But things are starting to melt now, for sure. Now let's go with the key. We have an event room here or a cursed potion that's really a shame that it's cursed. Uh, so this is going to be another companion that takes up an inventory slot. Attempt to construct an automaton. A uh, stone wood. Let's go with the stone shell. Emerald, ruby, sapphire. We're going to go with the ruby core. We're going to go with the electricity blueprint. Plus 25 power as well here, folks. Yes, this is definitely what you want to see. So let's throw this down. And it looks like our our worm here is gone. So I think I can actually throw the worm down. Don't need it. Accessory. I mean, we don't really need that either, but we'll take it. All right, we have the arcane domain here. The arcane golem. Stadium arcanium, right? All right, we definitely need a blacksmith here. It'd be a shame not to upgrade my uh, broken hero sword, right? Let's go, Arcane Golem. Come on. You gotta do better than that. You just gotta do better. Legendary here, folks, and it's a charm as well. 
Very nice. What do we have? Plus one weapon upgrade level. Okay. So cross charm, stamina charm, mind charm, skull charm. Let's get rid of the skull charm. Let's grab this. No questions asked. And let's go. Man, if only our staff was one-handed, I'll tell you something, right? All right, gold chest, set item stash. Do we look at adding a favor here? I think we probably should. I think it's probably a good idea. Let's add a heart. Going's probably going to get rough eventually. Yikes, man. What are you doing? Bunch of bombs that we don't need. Hey, dice, what do you know? Yeah, it kind of feels like, kind of feels like the staff is just a bit stronger. All right, gold or intelligence. Let's go with the intelligence. Even though if we were ever to stumble across a blacksmith, we would need a lot of gold. Here's a soul shop. We'll definitely pop in here and take a look. Wizard hat. Wind charm. Torch and Fletcher charm. We're good. Pear or resin, we'll go with the pear. Random potion, yes, this is what you need. And this is the mana potion, not really all that great. Well, we'll certainly take it. Here's the blacksmith, but we just don't have enough cash, do we? We certainly do not. Well, we can try here, folks. We can absolutely try. Bottle of booze. We haven't been boozed up at all. Frankly. So let's do it. See if we can get some, like, Coors Light or something, right? I know, this is uh, still a pretty cool weapon. I'm not going to lie. Alright, we have the tequila... Critical hit multiplier. Since it kind of feels like we're all in on the staff here, might have to start prioritizing intelligence. Don't know if we're going to get our hero sword unlocked grants plus 10 power per companion you have barbarism each point of strength grants 5% critical hit multiplier okay razor's edge slashing damage from you and your companions inflicts rupture let's roll this blunt trauma brawler might as well grab some more power right got a lot of power in this one uh let's see do we need a little revive or, sorry, a uh, restore? I don't think so. Offhand or helmet, of course. These are the two things that I actually have. What are we looking at here?
what's more expendable? Probably... Well, I mean, none of it really is. Let's go with the helmet and just see what we get. Lightning resistance. So, might take a while to kill him with this staff that I have. So, let's see what we can do. All right, let's go, Death. Too fast for you, Death. Too fast for you, Death. I'm going to throw on our old paladin set here and get our armor back. What do we have? Ooh, yes. This is exactly what we need. Emblem of Tiamat. So, if you ever want to just increase your damage by 100%, although, you know, this does increase our damage too, but it's not 100%, I'll tell you that. Yeah, you grab that and you run with it. We are... Pretty darn strong now. This is hitting for 2,508 on the top end and does 10 attacks per second. Which is pretty amazing. Never used the weapon before. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I like the weapon. It's a good weapon. All right, we're going down to the Burning Hells because we have, we have to quell the world of evil influence. So let's go. Random potion, don't mind if I do. How about the Berserker potion? I think that would be a good one to get. So why don't we secure that, huh? Inferno potion, I mean, it's, it's a similar color, but it just doesn't do it for me. But we'll, we'll take it. I mean, we'll take it. Ambrosia or Managerine refund. Let's go with Ambrosia. Mana Drain Refund or a Potion. Yeah, we'll, we'll take the Potion. Another shot at the Berserker Potion. So let's see if we can uh, lock that up. It's the Luck Potion. It came a little bit too late, but we'll take it. Better late than never. Soul Heart or some Bombs. Let's grab the Soul Heart for sure. Broja or critical hit chance. Let's go with the crit chance. Given our best weapon is an intelligence space weapon, right? Manager any refund. Alright, Soul Shop. Yeah, we're all over this. Oops. Press the wrong button there. Alright, what do we have? We have the Twilight Branch. We have the Moonstone. Quicholi. Explosive damage. And the Green Blossom. I think I'm good. Ran a potion though. Up with the Berserker Potion. What do you say? There we go. Let's 
Sometimes you get exactly what you ask for, right? Eleven point four four attacks per second here. All right, the question becomes now, do we use our repair powder here or I got to save it, I think. I'm fairly secure with Tiamat. He can get a little scary. You see yourself as a hero? Well, I mean, I, I tried to complete the hero sword. If we're being honest to you, Matt. I'll be honest with you. All right. Okay, Team Matt, you came to play. I respect that. I respect that. Sometimes the bosses uh, bust out new attack patterns. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Like, I wasn't really too familiar with that one. But regardless, you just got to do better. And moment of balance. Luck and curse are, are equal to the greater of the two values. I think I picked up like three curses in that last one. A baseball cap. Some pretty uninspiring stuff there for sure. And we have the battle rope. Plus one armor, plus two mana. I can't take off the plus 30% attack increase. Just can't do it. Although, I mean, if we're using the staff, right? If we're using the staff, it's, it's actually about as good. If we're, if we're using the staff here. So I'm going to take it. I'll take it and then let's just see what happens here. So our staff is hitting for 2074 because we have Dreamer, if you remember. This is 2609. Yeah. So that actually is the choice. And frankly, it's not even close. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to throw in our Dragon Sword here. Whoops. So when we ascend to the, the bottom floor, we can actually get our armor restored. Alright, let's go. The paladin has arrived. Floor 12 of Burning Hells here. Looking at uh, a full restore. Let's gain another favor here. Another heart. How about a stamina? We'll go stamina. I love a good stamina build. Definitely gotta keep your distance from those guys. After they go down, they're very intense. Another power potion. Looks like they, uh, they party it up down here in the Burning Hells too, huh? But he likes their pretzels and, and beers and stuff, right? This is a super fun weapon to use. 
like how fast it attacks and it it gets on your enemies right away. Plus 10% increased damage. Absolutely. All right, looking good. Mana drain refund or a potion? What potions are we down right now? Might be one I'm not thinking of. Certainly a possibility. Stamina potion. We already have that, but... Let's grab it again and use it. Soul shop. There's a whetstone right there. Just didn't come quick enough. Two bombs. Oh, come on. I'll be using my repair powder before the boss fight anyways. Because you can't use it in a fight, right? So that's okay. Uh, critical hit chance, yeah. We don't need any more curse, my goodness. Soul hearts. Yeah, we'll take a soul heart. A little added padding underneath the armor, if you will, right? One final rest. All right, here we go. So we're going to use our powder here. And then we're going in, folks. We just got to be good. It's Amon. We fought him before. Granted, this is Cinder 16. It's a bit different of a ball game. I don't think our top end damage is super strong. But I think what we can do here is we can get rid of Titan Grip. We don't need it. It's just for melee weapons. We're, we're all in on this power staff here. If we completed the hero sword with the bright flex, it might have been a different story. So let's use the obsidian dice on Titan Grip. Maybe we can get like insight or something. Something crazy. We'll see. Goodbye, Titan Grip. Welcome, Tempest Kick. And this is melee attacks, right? Yeah, it is. And so is Shield Bash as well. All right. I mean, so maybe there's an angle where we kind of switch to our Dragon Sword at some intervals, but let's go. Amon, Web Enchanted. Looks like he's shielding as well. Yikes. All right, this is going to be this is going to be a challenge. All right, you got to hit on me there, Amon. All right, let's go, I'm on. All right, he's down form one. We got. Essentially six hits and a revive left. Let's go. Four eons have been, yeah. Okay, man, let's, let's go. All right, two hits left.
Let's go. Come on, I'm on. Get wrecked. That's right, get wrecked, I'm on. And the paladin completes his quest here, folks, with an uncanny kit. Without question, this particular paladin certainly spent a little bit too much time in the mage guild when he was training, for sure. But the fantasy role-playing comes full circle, and let's take a final peek at the stats here. 29-19, pure evil as a paladin. But we came down here and we beat the forces of hell. Which is probably what a paladin would do, you would think. Good stuff. I mean, a pretty goofy kit. That flying dragon sword, though, was low-key useful in the Amon fight. You wouldn't think so, right? But that move speed increase was really nice when those big energy orbs were uh, flying around the screen. Definitely useful stuff. Definitely a fun run. I mean, it would have been nice to get my hero sword fully upgraded. Love to uh, mess around with that. Maybe we'll do another run that kind of focuses on that. Of course, we'll have to. We'll have to see. I mean, I think you just have to. You probably have to turn the the blacksmith like guaranteed bl blacksmith on, and then just really focus on it, right? You could probably actually have that thing upgraded relatively quickly. Well, we'll do another run that focuses on that, but. At least as far as the Paladin run goes, folks. I've been looking forward to doing it. And we're going to sunset the Paladin here on the channel. So, fun run. To get a legendary staff as your endgame weapon as a Paladin. A little uncanny, but that's what makes Tiny Rogues fun. So, let's add the crowns to the campfire here. And let's land this plane here, folks. So first and foremost, I do want to thank you so much for your viewership of the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the run. If you enjoyed the content, please consider becoming a subscriber. I'm playing Tiny Rogues, playing a bunch of other games as well. Tiny Rogues is fun. Great game. If you uh, don't play it and you're interested, I would highly recommend that you just, just take the plunge. It is a really fun game. Really fun. So what's the next run going to be? Uh, that, that's hard to say. I'm looking at the Necromancer and the Druid for potential companion runs. I also like the Ninja. I'm just fascinated with ninjas. The Samurai seems cool as well. Cyborg, another character I'm really looking forward to using. So I'm going to be getting on out of here, folks. Again, if you're enjoying the content, please become a subscriber. I'd we'll love to have you in the community. And you can stay tuned right here to this channel for more Tiny Rogues content and all kinds of other content. Like I said before, a long time ago, I am giving you daily uploads here. So if that sounds like your kind of thing, then please join. So I'm getting out of here, folks. Once again, thank you so much. We'll be catching you in the next episode. Thanks.